Good morning, sir. I'm Sindhu, and my topic is remote user authentication using asymmetric encryption. So these are the two methods that is mutual authentication and one-way authentication, which comes under remote user authentication using asymmetric encryption. So before this, we should know what is user authentication. The Author authorizing the users who are going to access the information from this uh, network are called user authentication and remote user authentication authorizing the user who are going to access the information from the server are called remote user authentication asymmetric encryption it uses a pair of key, one is for encryption, another one for decryption. And in symmetric encryption, uh, it uses only one key for encryption and decryption. So this is a, these are the basic topics. Next, we have the first method that is mutual authentication. And this, here, the user and the server identifies identity gets verified independently instead of only the client authenticating the server. So the first approach is here A and B are the two users. AS is the authentication server. ID A and ID B is the identity of A and identity of B. Here A needs to communicate with the B or it wants to send a message to B. So a needs the public key of B, so A will request the AS to send the B's public key. In the first step, it will A request the AS to send the public key of uh, B, and in the second step, AS send the public key to the A, and A will use that key and it will encrypt and it send and the message to B. Uh, second approach which is proposed by U and Lam. And here the KDC refers to key distribution center, which is a part of crypto system intended to reduce the risk inherent in the exchanging of the keys. So in the first step, A informs the KDC of its intended intentions to establish a secure connection with the B. The KDC returns A to the copy of B's public key here in the second step. B asks the KDC and A informs the B its desired communication that is in the step 3. In step 4, B asks the KDC for A's public key with the KDC and requests a session key. So the KDC returns B a copy of A's public key certificate plus information that is NAKS IDB. In the sixth step, the triple NAKS IDB still encrypted with the KDC's private key is replayed to A. A relatives the session keys KS uses to encrypt NB and return is to B. So this is the second approach. And in this approach, uh, the author only found some of the uh, fault in this. So he uh, resubmitted this approach and that approach is looks like something like this. The only difference is in the uh, fifth, sixth step where the identifier of a ID A is added to the set of encrypted with the KDC's private key in step 5 and step 6. The pair of ID A and NA that uniquely identifies the connection request of A. So this is about uh, two-way or uh, mutual authentication and next method is one-way authentication. That means here client verifies the server.
uh, here the approach looks like this if the confidentiality is a primary key that means whatever the information are sending to the uh, sender to receiver that should be uh, confidential it shouldn't be uh, attacked by some attackers so that means we have to follow something like this that means the message is encrypted with a one-time key a also encrypts this one time key with a B's public key. Only B will be able to use the corresponding private key to recover the one time key and then use the key to decrypt the message. This schema is more efficient than simply encrypted the entire message with a B's public key. If the authentication is a primary concern, then the digital signature may be suffered. So, for example, Bob composes a message to his uh, boss Elias that contains an idea that will save the company money. He appends his digital signature and sends it to the email system. Eventually, the message will get delivered to the Elias mailbox. But suppose that Max has heard. Here, the Max is the attacker and uh, Bob is a sender and Elias is a receiver. So. But the suppose that the Max has heard the Bob's idea and gained access to the mail queue before delivery. He finds the Bob message and strip of his signature append his and requests re the message to the deliver to the allies. Max gets credits of for Bob's idea. So this is what happened. The here they are not concentrating on the security of the information they are only uh, concentrating on the sending the messages so to avoid this situation we have to uh, encrypt message as well as a signature with the recipients public key and that looks like this the later two schemas requires that B knows A's public key and B convinced that it is time. So this is about remote user authentication using asymmetric encryption and it has two types that is mutual or two-way and it one-way. Thank you.